Hi, I'm Hayley and I'm at the 2024 Southern Cross Regional here in Sydney, Australia with Team 6508 Hastings Heroes from Port Macquarie, Australia. So, this team is absolutely incredible. They are currently ranked one. Every single year they are consistently top 10 and they are very well known in our region for being able to strategically maximise their ranking points every single season. Today, Tia is going to be talking to us about their drivetrain. Bailey is going to be talking to us about the intake and shooter. And then Frida is going to be talking to us about their vision. Let's hear about it on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to kettering.edu slash first to learn more and apply. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So Tia, would you be able to show us a little bit about your drive base? Um, yeah, our drive base is Swerve. Um, we have a spare one as well. Um, we, we were trying to maximize our top speed this year. So um, we've put a little like plate on it, on, on the drive motor to um, move the Falcon shaft and then we can get a better gear ratio. So it is 14% faster and has a top speed of 5.7 meters per second. Um, last year, we also built a three motor swerve. Like I built a three motor swerve and then the week after they said, um, we're not allowed to have a three motor swerve for 2024. So, you know, it wasn't great. But yeah, those are our swerves. And um, we inverted our motors to make sure that the node can pass through without getting hit by anything um, because the intake is underneath the pump. Let's hand it over to Bailey now who will be talking to us about the intake and shooter. All right, so this season we wanted an under bumper intake as we thought that having something that's not breakable is going to be a top priority. Um, we also thought during like strategy, we thought that no saw over the field was going to be one thing we would encounter a lot. So we wanted to try and we made it turretable so we can pick up from any direction. So um, we have rollers in here, which suck the node up and then drives through that. Um, we also use wheel guards, which make sure the node goes through into the correct spot every time. All right, so from our intake, it feeds directly into our shooter. So we do have an automated handover system, which when a node's detected and picked up, the intake will spin all the way to the back, which then feeds into our shooter. Um, we've added a flap up here, which helps um, the note go into our shooter when it's elevated. We also um, have belts in here which help drive the note across. We are running a sensor just in here which makes sure our note gets in the same spot every single time. Um, so yeah, and we have a curved rack mechanism which helps elevate the shooter. Um, we have a flap on the front which helps with scoring in the amp because we found that having a flap on there was easier than just trying to have a bit of um, a frame. All right. So we'll uh, score from the front. All right, and we'll go from left side. All right, we'll go from the back. Yeah. And then also go to podium angle. So we also have set heights as well as um, three like shots, so. That's our uh, into speaker. That's into amp. So, and that's in its stowed position. Um, so, yeah. That is absolutely incredible. Can you tell me a little about uh, what you think was the most complicated part of designing such a unique mechanism like this? Um, I think it was definitely trying to get the power to the shooter because we did a lot of testing with belts and uh, gear drives and all that sort of stuff. And we also tested a lot with what configuration was better for the rollers as well. If a top and bottom system was better than having uh, rollers on the side. So that is one thing we prototyped. Um, and we found it was more consistent with top and bottom rollers. So we went with that in the end. Let's hand it over to Frida now, who will be telling us about the vision camera. So 
So we've got this one here, which is our driver camera, which plugs directly into the Rio so that the driver can see the um, robot point of view. And then here we have the global shutter camera, which um, tracks the April tags on items and lets us know exactly where we are in the field at any given time. Um, knowing where we are means that we can lock into a direct target and then just follow that and stay locked in on that. We can also elevate the shooter up to a certain angle depending on our distance between um, the target and our robot. And the same goes for the speed of the shooter. It adjusts to the distance we are away from the target. Um, so with the limelight here, that um, helps us detect the notes, which, um, so if the driver doesn't have vision of the notes, we can get the robot to automatically drive up to the note and pick it up. So we've got the code for the limelight over there. Let's hand it over to Bailey now, who will be telling us about the localization. Yeah, so we use our April tags to localize off um, specific points. We also have auto paths that we use during matches to get to certain points as well. So um, on our dashboard, we do have like a robot relative position as well, which um, shows where the robot is. It also detects where a node is as well on the field. And then also we have preset um, locations. So we have one that goes directly to the speaker. So we press one button, the robot will drive four and a half meters a second to that um, specific location. This also helps when we try and score in trap as well, because we can automate where it ends up. Thank you so much, 6508, for showing us your robot and telling us about the very unique mechanisms that you have created. I can't wait to see how well you do at this competition. Good luck. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Discover how Kettering University students engineer their success with Kettering's amazing co-op employment programs where students earn great pay and gain valuable experience. Those accepted into Kettering University can apply for a robotic scholarship providing up to an additional $5,000 a year in tuition assistance. Head on over to Kettering.edu first to learn more and apply.